Hello and welcome to the US presidential election 2024 for Go Markets. I'm Evan Lucas and always, always please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none are excited upon as any form of personal advice. Go Markets does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none are excited upon as any full advice at all. It is just general in nature only. We are now approaching the final weeks of the election, and I do need to really go through some interesting moves that have happened in the last week, particularly first and foremost for us in the trading world around the betting markets. For the first time in weeks, the betting markets has the former president, Donald Trump, as the favorite. Not by much, but enough. It's at 53 cents to 47 for Harris. Now she has popped up a little bit, but if you look across the betting market in particular, He's moved into as low as $1.81, and Harris has moved out to even as far as I've seen at $2.30. Now, that is interesting in itself. There was a lot of noise around Polymarket, for example, which is the crypto-based player that really ramped up its movements last week around Trump being the former president's election campaign movements to the upside, possibly seeing him become president again. Then the other side of that, and what I also want to look at is why this election is so fascinating for traders, is that the polls still aren't really moving. Now, there is history over the last eight to 10 years that polls have obviously had their time in the sun, but they are still very, very good at giving us an understanding. And those polls have actually tightened the other way. If you look at Pennsylvania, if you look at Michigan, you look at Wisconsin, they are tightening the other way to Harris. In fact, from a week ago, the Pennsylvania numbers were actually having a 0.8 of a 1% move to the Republican side, so Trump. They've now moved 0.9% to the other side, to Harris. It just shows you how flexible and fluctuating they are. The other thing to look at also with the polls is that the scenario runners, players like 538, players like Silver Bulletin, they have actually now run this over and over, and 53% of the time, their scenarios run out a win for Harris compared to the other side of 47 for Trump. The final thing to come up and point to you with regards to where this election is at that is now also getting a little bit of suggestion is that there is a chance for the first time in 200 years the US president election could be a tie. They are showing signs that there could actually be 269 college votes for Harris, 269 college votes for Trump which means it brings in players like Nebraska and Maine because those two states are the only states out there that don't have a winner-take-all number. They do have the congressional areas for someone like Nebraska with Omaha, which does allow its second Congress to actually be split out. Maine does something the same as well. And there's a suggestion that Nebraska this year could actually be the kingmaker. That wasn't the case even as long as only three days ago. So that's the other part of why this is getting quite tight. It explains again why there is volatility in Dixie, why there's volatility in the overall positioning of the markets, because the market has liked what it's seen. It has certainly bid up on what's going on with the Trump side. But overall, the return is this. It is still very, very close. And although there's only a few weeks to go, anything could still happen.